Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my latest video. Today I do have a project share to share with you guys. Um, I do love creating or decorating composition notebooks and so I do have a notebook here that I decorated that I would love to share with you guys. And the main paper that I used for this is from Simple Stories and it is called the Simple Vintage Ancestry Paper Line. I think it was out maybe a year or so ago and I picked up a few sheets at my local scrapbooking store. I just fell in love with it. It has a lot of beautiful colors and that's the back side of this paper. I didn't use any of this one. I tried to stick more with the flower part of it or the colors that kind of match this paper right here. And then well, to decorate it, um, you can see I just started off with one of the, the pattern papers from the collection. I used a couple of different colors of cardstock, the black and kind of this little darker teal color. And then I went ahead and layered up the paper collection. And then also there was some cut apart pieces from that paper collection. I did use that one that says, memories are timeless treasures of the heart. And once I had those pieces layered down, I just went ahead and went through a lot of my laces and trims for my collection. So along the spine, um, I did go ahead and add a vintage piece of, I think I want to say it's English Clooney lace, but I'm not sure. It's a vintage piece that I had picked up at the thrift store. And from there, I also found this really old piece for my stash. And it already had the rhinestone trim on it, but it seemed to match the collection nicely. So I did layer that on it. I also went ahead and added this kind of darker, deeper burgundy rose trim, rosette trim around this, the other three sides. And then I also had this little kind of more of a, like an upholstery type trim that I added off of the bottom. And then once I did that, I did go through my flower collection and this was a flower pin that I had purchased a while ago. And so I just took the pin off of the back. It already had the little bling in the middle of it. I also had these two little um, satin roses in my stash. So I went ahead and added those. And then this was also a little heart sticker that I went ahead and added. I did add glue to it. I don't, I never trust stickers on my final projects. So I always add glue to them. But this was kind of like a blinged out rhinestone type sticker. And then whenever I create um, my composition notebooks, I also like to make sure my back cover has paper on it. And then I also use my new, it's not really new, but I've had it for a few months, but it says Handmade with Love, Julie K. I picked that one up from Lorna Taylor um, from Taylor Made Creations. She's a digital designer, but she also creates some um, rubber stamps and she was making some with people's names on them and so I had asked for for one with my name on it so I was happy to be able to use that on the back side of this and then I also like to make sure that my front and back covers have paper on them also usually the composition notebooks have some sort of writing on the inside of them or a table or a graph or something and I like to cover that up sometimes I add pockets and sometimes I don't this one I just left as is I thought it was really beautiful with just that little bit of the trim showing underneath with the pretty butterflies on it and I use the same paper on the on both inside covers and the back cover and so that is my um, altered composition notebook that I wanted to share with you guys. And thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is doing well. And have a wonderful day. And until next time, happy crafting.